Guys, for you that are struggling uh, programming your hardware to your uh, flight simulator, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks in this video. The first one is I use iFly SIM cards. These are 32 pins, and they act like a joystick, which means they're on and off, right? When you push the button, it's like pushing a button on a joystick. So that means I can control several of my switches that are on and off type switches just by pressing them and uh and everything you see here i can control on this one card except for the the light that lights up when this button is pushed all right so that's one way that you can connect it now i use these ribbon cables that i then connect in using the self-soldering heat shrink connectors which is real cool you just Connect the wires together, slide the heat shrink over it, and it has built-in solder, so when it heats up, it automatically solders the wire. These are tips, guys, for helping you build your SIM. Now, once I pull all these into here, each one of these are assigned to a pin, right? In the joystick, there's 32 of them. This is connected USB to the computer. And, uh, and then what I do, once I have that connected, is I open up FSUIPC, and because my aircraft does not support FSU IPC offsets, I go inside here and I press one of the buttons on the keyboard. And that's going to show that I press button number six. I just flipped it before this video. And then I come down here and I hit this option called list local panel VARs. Now, when I do that and I hit OK, it takes me back to the sim. And then I go ahead and I flip the button, that button six. I press it. And you don't see anything happen and you think, well, that's that's all interesting. All right, cool. No problem there. But what it did was it actually dumped every single L var or L variable out to the log file that's located inside of your modules um, directory. And you'll see here it says FSUIPC5 log. So when I open that up, I have a copy of every single variable listed in here of the aircraft. So it took every single variable and it just dumped it in the log file. Now, when you restart the simulator, this disappears and you have to redo that process again to get access to this information. Now, once you have access to this information, this is where it gets really fun and makes it real easy mapping. Each one of these items is like firing off a switch or pushing a button. It's going to basically run this command that's going to do that and so what i do over here is i create a macro uh, which is called a lua file or a lua script and i'm going to click on it and it basically looks like this one equals l and then this is my variable and then this is my command is to toggle it so it's as if i toggled that button right so that is all i have to write to make a button switch and then of course I've got to swap out this here this section right here with the variable that I'm trying to make the assign that button to okay so I go through here and I find what which one of these are associated with my button which you may have to guess and try a few to get it right but once I get that I drop it into this script to personalize it and then I save this file as whatever the name is dot mcro for macro now once I do that I can then come over to the software here and I can go back to my buttons and switches and I can click the button that I want to assign but this time in the drop down is going to be saved the file that I created here which is the name.macro and that file that you save you actually drop it into your modules directory so you'll see all of these that I've built here do different things on my aircraft and then I'm easily able to go back over to the aircraft, click the button on the joystick, and then I assign it right here by selecting that macro, and then I can hit OK. And that now every time I flip that switch, it's going to say you switch button number six, which is going to fire off the macro, which is going to toggle this button that's assigned to that function in the aircraft. Does that make sense? Now... How do you do this with an Arduino? Well, an Arduino is a little bit different because 
it doesn't act like a joystick. So what you do with an Arduino, which is different, is I run what's called Mobi Flight Controller. And Mobi Flight Controller is a software that again, lets me assign a pin on the Arduino. But when I assign it now, I'm just gonna show you this. Um, let me go into one that I can, when I go in and assign it now, I I go over here to extra settings. This pulls in my uh, Arduino board here and I'm gonna show you this DHMDA button is assigned to pin number 18. So these all have pin numbers on it, of course. And this pin number 18 is running into my button. So when I push it, it's firing off pin number 18. Well, and this is what I want to do. Now that I know that that's signed pin number 18 and I've got it named here, I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to add it into here. And you add it by double clicking on the bottom last row and you name it. And then you can go in to buttons and hit this setting. And then on what I'm going to do is I'm going to select which board I'm working on and then the device these are all my buttons and you just saw that pin number 18 was DHMDA button so I'm going to select it and then from here because I don't have an FSUIPC offset for my airplane I go down here to what's called a Lua macro I select it and then this is how I code it in I have the name of the file DHMDA and if you remember over here DHMDA dot macro right that's what we named it but in this case I'm not gonna put the dot macro in and then I put a colon and then I put the entire LVAR command in next right and if you look over here it's the exact same thing that is right here except for I leave the see that right there so I'm gonna actually put that port part in right here so I even include the L colon. So you see that it goes DH underscore MDA. I do not put dot macro and I don't put like this number one equals. I just go colon L colon and then the name of the, the uh, variable that I'm firing off in that Lewis script and I hit OK. Now when I do that, that assigns that same script to the 18 pin here. So we basically did the same thing we did with the FSUIPC right here by assigning it. So this is if I assigned it using the other control card, but because this doesn't recognize as a joystick, I can't use it like this and assign it. So I have to go over here to, uh, to Mobi Flight Connector and I assign it doing what I just showed you. So that's how you can connect uh, LVARs or those variables into your hardware. Pretty cool, huh? So the, I showed you a few secrets today. One is how to get a list of your LVARs through the log file. Uh, and then of course showed you the two different boards you can use and then how you can wire those up to fire off um, whenever you uh, build your simulator. So some cool stuff there. And uh, hopefully this makes sense to you if you're struggling with either one of those. That's one way that you can connect an aircraft that does not support FSUIP offsets and still run Lewis scripts or macros in place of, uh, in place of them. So in this case, um, let me just, uh, we'll, we're just going to go right here. And I'm just going to press that button. See how, see that there? All right, cool. So that's it, man. That's how it runs. Thanks.